It's the last race of the False Idols Tour. We're at DS Delfino Square, where the red team has crawled their way back into this, now down by just 17 points. And they're off on this final race of the False Idols Tour. Blue with a quick lead, rounding out the top three positions as player one gets off the starting block. Up the hill and underneath the gate. Rounding the statue in the square, player one now approaching the first line of item boxes. Red and blue now exchanging leads as they get to the split. Player one with a star. He's going to want to use this right around the docks to cut through that alleyway. Player one now approaching the dock area. Now in 11th place. Hopping to remain to the outside instead of taking the shortcut through the alleyway. Player one hanging on to this star. Bradley looks to use it on the second or third lap. Make for some headway against the new blue. Now the red team is changing positions with blue, and they have the top two positions. Birdo cuts into that toad now too. Toad, Birdo, Baby Luigi, and player one now battling it out for the top four position. Approaching the first turn in the second lap. Player one trying to avoid Birdo's bananas. Heading the split. Player one with the lead, Birdo, Toad, Koopa Troopa. Blue now with a nice grouping behind the top position. Halfway through this race, player one approaching some of the last turns in the second lap, hitting a wall. That allows Birdo to get ahead, and so does Toad. Blue Shell hitting Birdo, that allows player one to get in the third place, as Baby Luigi and Toad are duking it out for the top position. Player one approaching the final turns of this second lap in this final race of the False Idols Tour. Blue Shell coming for Baby Luigi. That's going to put player one in the sole position for Red, trying to get ahead of Toad here for the third lap. He's holding on to that star. He has it in queue. The current pull is player one, followed by Toad and Birdo. Rounding out those top three positions. Player one heading down the right side of the split into the convergence and through the dock area. Player one still maintaining a lead and gaining more as Baby Luigi now in second place. Player one now using the alleyway and that should be enough to secure that top position but it's the other positions that are concerning for Team Red right now. Birdo and Baby Luigi battling it out for second place. Toad fell off so he's now out of the running but Birdo and Baby Luigi, Baby Luigi slips and Birdo's going to get that second place position as a blue shell comes for player one and a lightning bolt he's gonna need to cross the finish line here just to avoid any more losses. This is not the way that player one wanted to end this race, but he does get the first place polling position. Blue is going to come away with the win by a score of 302 to 282. Blue is going to be the champion in this inaugural False Idols Tour with Toad's 88 points leading the way. Player 1's 91 points will be the most in this tour, but the dichotomy between the top and bottom on Team Red is going to be the story here. As Player 1 gets 91 points, followed by Baby Luigi's 73 points. Mario and Diddy Kong, however, couldn't even top the lowest player of Team Blue. And that's going to be the difference here as Team Blue takes the win in the inaugural False Idols Championship. And now down to the game room for post-race reaction. I, I felt like I raced well there at the end. Now in second place, player one now using the alleyway and that should be enough to secure that top position. Uh, the second half, I, I placed third, second, and two first, and the second was a sacrifice. I, I was just trying to lock down as many top spots as possible. But you know what? Look at the blue team. Toad and Funky Kong did really well for them. Birdo was a great supplement to that. Having three people above 50 points, that goes a long way. So, the blue team really deserved it here. I just hope I get my revenge next time.
So after one eight-race circuit, here's a look at the standings as Blue jumps to an early lead 1-0 over Red, who's 0-1. And be sure to subscribe and follow the action throughout the season as these characters continue their quest to hold the cup. Until next time, I'm Kenny O'Shaughnessy. Thanks for watching.